We're gonna start this puppy up. Clear, prop. Just one moment there. We show this engine stand every week. Let's do a tip on engine stands. Proceed. And welcome back to Tip of the Week. Have you considered an engine test stand? Why do we even need an engine stand? Isn't our aircraft the best test stand to run and break in an engine? Well, not everyone has their aircraft ready when they get the chance to acquire an, an engine. And isn't the best way to purchase an engine is to see it running, even if it's not on an aircraft? And what if you go to sell your engine because you're going to change to a different one in your aircraft? Now you can demonstrate that your engine runs just fine off of the aircraft. There's a number of great reasons to have an engine test stand. Let's take a look at someone who has built one and uses it all the time. My name is John Okelson and I built this test stand. Um, using an original motorcycle trailer that I cut up in pieces and, and made various mounts. Uh, holes are drilled in such a way that I can change three or four different motor mounts and run all different kinds of motors on it. Um, it's been one of the most useful tools I've had. Uh, I have never sell an engine that's not been run on this for at least an hour. And I can only say that Again, it's one of the best tools I've got. Probably have done 30 or 40 motors on it since I built this. It's great. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at this engine stand. Now notice that it is quite portable. It can be hooked up to a vehicle and towed. You could also tow the engine with it in that regard. And of great importance is the method for attaching the engines to this stand. Notice those steel angles. Those allow just about any engine mount to be able to be attached to this engine stand by merely creating and drilling bolt holes in the proper locations. And with a number of these steel angles running across, we can adapt it to just about any engine going to the back side of the firewall so to speak we note the equipment needed for running the engine and in these wheel channels remember this was a motorcycle trailer at one time we have a fuel pump and fuel selector along with our batteries which are securely mounted and their associated electrical cables including a starting solenoid and for running the engine we have a control panel with the throttles and also gauges for measuring pertinent information such as the RPM manifold pressure oil temperature and fuel pressure In the case of an air-cooled engine, of course we need the prop to provide adequate cooling while it is running, but what a great way to examine a running engine. Visually we can see oil leaks and other details that might not always be evident when it is enclosed inside of a cowl.
as part of a pre-buy inspection, this is a great opportunity to perform a compression test or leak down test. And that way you can really know what it is you're purchasing. And of course you always want to exercise extreme caution when doing this. Oh, it gets away, but you see where it was? Did you see it? We can really learn something from William Wynn by way of his Corvair colleges where he teaches people how to build engines from the ground up. He really makes use of an engine stand as every one of those engines is tested thoroughly before they ever get onto an aircraft. Let's take a look and learn a few things. Okay, why don't you tell the camera a little bit about what you're about to do. We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And there you have it. Now you know a little bit more about engine test stands and if nothing else the seed is planted to consider a great project in building one of these things and you'll probably be the only one on the block with one of them. So in the meantime back to building even if it's building an engine stand. <laughs>